Hey everybody, this is RoughDog4 from PS3 Imports, and today we're going to be doing a review of Read 2. Uh, this is the same type of game if you play the first one. This is from Radalika Games. Same basic concept. I feel like the platformers got slightly harder, but at the same time I feel like you could do it a little bit quicker than the original. Basically all you need to do is complete 28 levels and then the 29th level you'll be able to get the final trophy there definitely is some hidden stuff on the room but there are some guides out there that should be able to assist with you so that shouldn't be a problem just like typical rattle like a games there is six stacks to this the three uh on ps4 three vita asian europe and uh the united states and we will hop right into this so basically, like I said, it's a platformer and it starts off easy. And the basic concept is in the previous one, you were just trying to get one cube and get to the door and they changed it and now there's three cubes. So you have to get three cubes and once you do that, the exit door opens, which at that point you can exit the level and finish. I don't think any level is longer than a few minutes. Some of them are certainly a little bit tricky and just like the first one, there is no save point or checkpoints within the level. So basically, if you die, you are starting the level from scratch but there is nothing too difficult about it. So you can see it starts off really simple. You open up three and there you go. You could double jump. And as you can see, I died off the bat, basically. So they're introducing some spikes right there. Basically, I, I, you know, you really want to make sure you're being patient with this game. If you rush or you make this, uh, if you try to move too quickly, you are going to constantly die and run into, you know, problems. So if you just take your time, you know, you shouldn't have a problem. See right there, I try to rush it a little bit and I get hit by the spikes, so. And that is the way this game works. It's just that uh, awesome. Let's see. I believe there is something. Uh, I think when you see that spec over there, I think there's something hidden. I'm going to go back up here and take a look. So there are some hidden levels that you could face in the game. So I'm going to check that out. And uh, well, I died, so I might as well uh, come over here to check this out. I think. Oh, yeah. See, there's that little dot right there. And this is going to take me to a hidden level which is a trophy. And basically what it is, is there's a few, ha some of the trophies pop just by uh, getting onto a certain level. So they just come along with storyline. I think there's three or four secret locations that you need to reach. And there's also like a few secret characters that you need to reach. Like there's somewhere in the level, you can't exactly see them, but once you get to them, they will unlock the door. So here we are, we open those three, and each each level is going to get slightly harder. Some of them, I'm not going to lie, like your first time through, you might uh, pull your hair out a little bit. You know, it's uh, it's not fun. So now you can see they introduce some falling platforms, and they do come back, so all you got to do is just wait for them to come back, and they will. So this is, I, I personally thought this was a fun game. It's really, it's really short. It's really, you know, it's not that bad. Again, once you get used to it, it's, you know, you should be fine. With it, uh, it I, I personally would say if you struggle with like some platforming games, you might get a little frustrated with this game. So you could certainly try this out on, uh, you know, on a spare account if you don't want to ruin your profile over it. But I honestly, I promise you guys, it's not that bad. So sometimes you're gonna have to realize too. Uh, the, the some of the tricks that I realized in this game was that some I always got into the use of uh, double jumping everywhere, and at certain points of the game, you should just just do a single jump. If you ever notice, like, you know, sometimes just double jumping is just a little too much and, you know, you just shouldn't do it. So, oh, see, we found it. Uh, didn't even mean to do that, but we found a secret uh, guy right over here. So, and there's a few of those in there. But like I said, if you, if you get a guide, you should be able to get it, no problem. Uh, let's see. So you can see we're already on level 8, and like I said, you only have to finish about 28 levels. The 29th level is just there's a secret item that you need to get, so there's nothing that, that's that bad. So you shouldn't have any problems with that. Ooh, that was horrible. And as you can see, like the difficulty starts really like ramping up fast. I mean, they're basically every single level is introducing a new element. So you can see like the moving platforms, you can see this arrow thing shooting there, and you're going to get to a point where there's going to be so many on there, it's going to be just absolutely frustrating. But as long as you're patient, you take your time, you kind of look at the patterns, and you try to make sure that you know what you're following, you shouldn't have any problems with this whatsoever. So, uh, And I hope that uh, you know I don't lead you astray on this game. Hopefully I can knock this last there, and then we can end on a nice positive note. All right, awesome. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoy this game. 
Uh, hopefully all six stacks will treat you nicely. And uh, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Have a great day, everybody.